Hello there. Yesterday's speech by Mario Draghi highlighted a much bigger problem for Europe and the ECB. Draghi was careful to show that the bloc needs greater support in kickstarting a proper economic recovery, but also said that there won't be any further monetary stimulus anytime soon. Uh, one thing is clear though, and that's the threat of deflation in Europe. How important it is remains to be seen, but joining me on the line from Frankfurt now is Professor of Finance at the European Business School, Rasa Karapanza. Rasa, thanks for joining me today. The ECB's supervisory board has met today where you're based in Frankfurt. Now, as I understand it, the ECB and Mario Draghi has a number of key issues it needs to address. One of them is growing deflation. Just how close do you think Europe is right now from a deflationary crisis? I don't think that the crisis is so close, actually. I'm, I'm quite, quite convinced that Mario Draghi, what he said in his speech, that they will not decrease the rates any further because of the deflationary pressures. I think that actually he's right when stating something like that. I think that the deflation is not the biggest threat of Europe. And um, that's basically it. I don't think that this is a severe and, and a big threat for Europe currently for, men, for various reasons, for the way that the inflation rates in Europe are calculated. I think that the, these fears are overestimated. One question that's being asked at the moment by the Germans uh, is, in this current political climate, will further monetary stimulus by the ECB work given the risks of deflation? As you are very well aware, there was a recent ruling by the German, German court um, which proclaimed to some extent uh, some of the tools that Mario Draghi has at his his disposal unconstitutional. However, this German court also said maybe we are being too cautious here and we are, maybe we are too strictly interpreting the law and this should be probably done by some other court, some European court in Luxembourg. And they basically gave a levy that this is a still still legal tool to use. But, I mean, Mario Draghi has a lot of tools in his disposal and I really think that this is not really a big and reasonable fear now, currently at the moment. I think that Europe has m many more real problems in the field that are ahead than, than deflationary fears. OK, moving on. Uh, Germany's recent court ruling has hindered the ECB and its efforts to try to shore up southern Europe's debt problems. This crisis of management at the top doesn't seem to want to go away, does it? I would say only to a limited extent because this OMT that has been ruled unconstitutional to some extent in Germany, but not fully because they proclaim themselves in some extent, some some sense, not not being the right institution to judge the the legality of this of these OMT tools that Mario Draghi has. Um, this is like a nuclear arsenal. You don't really have to use it. It's just important that it's there. And uh, it's it's a way to deter any further um, decrease increase in borrowing prices in the south, and not really a tool that is being used extensively. So to that extent, I think that it was hurt a little bit, but not not too much. It would be like you have a nuclear arsenal, but everybody knows that you're not going to really use it. But Finally, looking ahead, what do you think needs to be done in order to improve market confidence in Europe right now? Is it just a question of politics and regulation, or is there something else, do you think? In front of Europe to be tackled with, in a sense. Uh, I would say that the main problem that Europe is facing is the big heterogeneity in the banking system, if we are talking about the financial system. And having a, a regulation that is that is uniform across the very heterogeneous market is a tricky, tricky thing. And it seems to me like like at some point Europeans have decided to uh, make the reality conform the laws and not laws to, to follow the reality in that sense. I mean, there is a big, big difference in, in, in banking systems in, in north of Europe and south of Europe. And I would say some big political issues in the south of Europe that are ahead of us are going to be a potentially big problem like the referendum in Catalonia. Nobody knows how this is going to end. OK, thank you for joining me today, Mr. Carapanza. Don't forget to check out all our other interviews and market updates by clicking back to the homepage. I'll see you tomorrow for the press review, but for now, 
Bye-bye.